just want to show you where we are right now. Can you guys zoom in on the wrist a little bit? Okay. So we have the arm tucked very close to the side. Uh, this is our standard approach for radial access, as you guys can see here. This is a five French slender, as Puneet mentioned. We usually access a little bit higher on the wrist, approximately about that much higher than the styloid process, which gives us an ample space to be able to get our diagnostic catheter pretty close to the prostate artery, which as you'll see in a few minutes, that's one of the key things, in my view, to getting very close and getting a, a quick cannulation of the prostate artery. This diagnostic catheter that we have in here is a 130 centimeter penumbra burn tip. Uh, and this is a nice catheter, 040 lumen. But what I like about this for radial axis is it's 130 centimeters. So this gives us a, a few extra centimeters to get to the target vessel. We're actually hooked up to the power injector right now, but we haven't done the angio yet. But I'm going to go back to the fluoro and show you what we did so far. We came down uh, the arm, we used a Benson wire, and we didn't get the wire to go immediately into the, into the, the arch. So we did an angiogram. And he does have some vascular disease, so we switched to a glide wire here. And we were able to cannulate the ascending aorta pretty easily. You can see the calcification on the aorta here. And so when we see that, uh, we often will switch very quickly to a Simmons catheter. We usually use a Simmons one. Uh, so in, in that scenario, we put down an exchange wire. In this case, we used a Benson wire. And we form our Simmons in the, in the heart, as you can see here. Once it forms, then we basically just pull it back and we cannulate the descending aorta, advance our, our long wire, use the Benson, and then we switch out for our, our diagnostic catheter, which in this case is the, the 130 Berenstein. 